Welcome to Electron Line. The lighthouse problem with related rates is a very special problem. You'll probably see that in every classroom and in every textbook that deals with related rates. What we have here is a lighthouse that's sit sitting on an island two kilometers away from the coastline. The lighthouse has a beam of light and the lighthouse is rotating or the light, the beam is rotating at a rate of one revolution every 10 seconds which converted to radians per second is 0.6283 radians per second. When the beam is pointing at a particular angle in such a way that it strikes the shoreline one kilometer away from the point directly across from the lighthouse, we want to know what the rate of change of the position of the beam will be against the shoreline as it's moving to the right, as the beam is of course rotating. How fast is the beam moving along the shoreline? How do we find that? Well, first, what we need to find is the angle that we make right here that the beam makes with the vertical. And we can do that using the tangent. We know that the tangent of theta, by definition, is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. And in this case, the opposite side to the angle would be x, and the adjacent side would be y. So we know that the tangent of theta is x over y, or theta is equal to the arctangent of x, which is one kilometer, divided by y, which is two kilometers. What we're doing here is finding the arctangent of 0.5. And that would be 26.565 degrees. 26.565 degrees. I'm keeping a few extra significant figures. They're not really that significant. I just don't want a rounding error. So next, what we need to do is find dx dt. How do we do that? Well, we can go back to our original equation where we relate the angle theta to x and y. So we have the tangent of theta is equal to x over y, or the tangent can be written as the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta equals x over y. Now what I can do is I can take the derivative with respect to time of both sides of the equation. The ddt of the left side should equal the ddt of the right side. So let's go ahead and do that. Since these are quotients, here we take the denominator times the derivative of the numerator. That would be the derivative of the numerator would be the cosine of theta times the derivative of the angle, which is d theta dt, minus the numerator, sine of theta, times the derivative of the cosine, which is the negative sine, times d theta dt, all divided by the denominator squared, which is cosine squared of theta. We set that equal to the derivative of the right side, which is the denominator, times the derivative of the numerator, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the denominator squared. Now right away we can simplify some things because we know dy dt must be zero. y is not changing, it's simply the distance from the lighthouse to the shoreline. So this will be zero. Here in the numerator, realizing that we have the cosine square of theta, plus, because it's negative times it's negative is a plus, plus the sine square of theta if we factor out of d theta dt. So we get 1 times d theta dt in the numerator, so we get d theta dt in the numerator, divided by, and you know what, I'm running out of board space here, so let me move over to the right there. So on the left side, I end up with d theta dt divided by the cosine square of theta equals, and on the right side, notice when this goes to zero, I have a y here and a y squared there, so I end up with dx dt divided by a single y. Now remember what I'm looking for is I'm looking for dx dt, so I have to solve that equation for dx dt. We end up with dx dt is equal to y times d theta dt, divided by the cosine square of theta. Now we have everything we need to plug in the correct numbers. y was 2 kilometers. d theta dt was given to us right here 
at 0 0.6283 radians per second. So notice in the numerator we're going to get kilometers per second because radians is a non-unit divided by the cosine square of theta and theta is this. So we get the cosine square of 26.565 degrees. All right, I'm now ready to calculate the rate of change of the beam against the shoreline, the dx dt. So we get, well, since I have the angle, I'm going to take the cosine of that, square that, that's 0 0.8. Okay, let me write that down. So dx dt is equal to 2 kilometers multiplied times 0 0.6283 radians per second divided by the denominator is exactly 0 0.8. So we can bring that to the numerator and times 2 and times 0 0.8. 6283 equals, and we get 1.57 kilometers per second. So the beam will be moving along the shoreline at a rate of 1.57 kilometers per second when it's making an angle of 26.565 degrees, when the beam is hitting the shoreline one kilometer to the right of the point directly across the lighthouse. And that's how it's done.